What's up? This is Slightly Bart Fast of Pros, and I'm here to bring you the third episode of C64 Kodak and Tutorials here on YouTube. In this episode, I'll be showing you the latest SID tracking PC tools. This is pretty amazing software actually, and allows you to make SID tunes just like the classics, and even better than them in, in stereo even, with a, a program on your PC. With all you need is these free programs, and you can make your own music, or try to anyway. And if, even the people that try to make their own music, such as my mate Richard Bayless, uh, actually get it right eventually, if you check the latest tune on the Final Attack Redux that I released on CSDB recently. It was a joke, a joke release, but it's still pretty cool. Okay. So, until recently, the only one I'd heard of was Goat Tracker, and that's fairly popular, and it's pretty much a scene standard for cross-development. But there's two others that i found that are brilliant and are much more modern than Goat Tracker. Goat Tracker comes from the days of DOS, and it shows. It's got some mouse controls, but it's very basic ASCII menus and stuff, and the controls aren't obvious. Uh, with the keyboard controls, there's a lot of them. Whereas the other two uh, are very modern, and you, you couldn't tell them apart from a, tr a tracker for doing any kind of music. But it allows you to make SID music, which is pretty amazing. I haven't played with them yet. I'm not a SID musician, but I certainly will, and I suggest you do too. And if, if you want to have these amazing tools, plus a whole bunch of other amazing tools, like the, all the command line tools on Kadabra of the Cobalt, Cobalt BitOps, um, tools, which I'll give you a link to in the, in the description, uh, and also some other very useful cross-development tools. In my own custom build of C64 Studio, the C64 Studio Code Hacking Edition, or C64 Studio CHE, or otherwise known as C64 Studio Shay. <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'll open up the preliminary build of that, now, I haven't actually worked out how to, how to compile it from source yet, but when I do, I'll be making it so you'll be able to use command line tools from within the IDE. And these are really powerful tools, but they're really hard to use from the command line. I basically don't bother with them usually, but, but Cadaver's collection is really comprehensive, and it's worthwhile. So hopefully I can get that working from within C64 Studio Code Hacking Edition. And now this will be available to the people that pledge five dollars a month on my Patreon project. Now it's, it's taking me quite a bit of time to assemble this collection and with and as you can see there's documentation and tutorials for everything. There's regenerated disassembler. Now there's a disassembler within C64 Studio but I don't know how good it is. Regenerator is the scene standard and it was used for instance to make Commando Arcade and Ghosts and Goblins Arcade possible. I'm going to SID trackers folder with all the SID trackers that I could find in there. Now there was one other one that I don't remember the name of, but I couldn't find it even so it could make SID files, even though it reckoned it could, but it was just a modern tracker. We've got SID play on there, and we'll also have the entire collection of the, the high voltage SID collection, which is a, a few, um, quite a few gigs of SID tunes, basically all the SID tunes that there are. And you'll be able to stick them in your intros and demos really easily. We've got SID play there as well, so you can play them easily. And Wix Bouncer, which lets you make sinus, um, sinus tables for your swinging logos and your moving graphics. And um, that's essential. It outputs the source file. It's really handy. You'll, you, you'll get to love it. Now, there are other tools I'm putting in this package, but um, I'm, as I said, I'm still working on it. It's a lot of work. Uh, and I, I have another package available. This will be on private Dropbox, Dropbox business links. So they won't get overloaded. Um, uh, it'll only be four pledges of five dollars a month. It's not much, people. It's two cups of coffee, or you get an entire integrated development system, uh, and also over twenty gigabytes of Commodore sixty four software that I'm downloading right at this moment, uh, uh, using Assembly sixty four. I'll put that link in that in the, in the description, and you can go and download it yourself if you want. But I'll be offering it as a 20 gigabyte custom download that's updated every week. So you have the latest stuff all the time. If you pay $5 a month, your own C64 Studio Code Hack Edition and Assembly 64's entire archive of 20 gigabyte plus Commodore 64 software. And some Commodore 128 software.
But, yeah. So, we're here to look at the Sid trackers this episode. Now, we've got Devil Mask, which is a modern Sid tracker, and it lets you use modern tracking tools to make Sid music just like the old, old classic Sid music. It's pretty amazing. And there's Goat Tracker, which is quite old, but it's also a scene standard. Uh, and Goat Tracker Stereo, that lets you make stereo Sid tunes, and that's exciting. Especially now you can buy the Sid FX um, expansion and have two Sid chips. And then we've got Snyder, that's a purely Sid tracker. Defil Mask can do multiple platforms, which is pretty amazing. So we'll try Defil Mask first. Here we go. Defil Mask. That's pretty cool. Okay, now I don't know, I'm not going to pretend I know how to use a, track, a tra music tracker. I'm not going to pretend I know anything about making sound effects on music or even using the SID chip on the Commodore 64. I'm going to leave that to a specialist. When it happens, you'll have a specialist to teach you about all that. But in the meantime, I do know how to open a song. And then we've got demo songs. Now if you look here, you can make arcade music, Commodore 64 music, Game Boy music, Sega Genesis music, Nintendo Entertainment System music, PC Engine music and Sega Master System music, so that's pretty amazing. But we'll just go to the demo songs. The first one's crap, but this one's good. Like, that's pretty cool. But you can go. See, I'm obviously not a musician, but that's a pretty amazing tool. Then we get to Goat Tracker. Now, um, this is the second time I've recorded this tutorial because I found out if you press F12 to look at the instructions, F10 loads the current, it loads the song or instrument. But if I press F10, Camtasia stops the recording, so I can't load anything to show you in Goat Tracker. But just rest assured, the Goat Tracker demo songs are really good, uh, and the stereo is pretty amazing. And then we got Snyder. And there'll be links to the websites of all these. Um, now, Snyder is, is again not as advanced as um, whoops, as Defil Mask, but the songs that it lets you play uh, are pretty cool. And, and you can you can pull mods, but here's a little Tarkan title. So that's it. You've got three trackers there and a stereo version of Goat Tracker. Now, um, as far as Mac users go, I just feel sorry for you guys, basically. But um, there's Goat Tracker available on the Mac. It was originally made for the Mac. So there you go. So that's all for this episode of C64 Code Hacking. Coming up pretty soon, we'll have a few announcements about the C64 Studio Code Hacking Edition and the Assembly 64 Archive. And also, I'm working on a Code Hackers magazine called Inc. Do 2 and that's almost finished the preview issue before we release it for a month or so for people to digest, and then we'll be starting a Kickstarter project to start a print magazine for Commodore 64 Code Hackers. Yes, that's right. Now, you can support me doing this by giving me $5 a month on my fledgling Patreon page, please. But if you don't want to, that's fine. YouTube's free, and I can do this on a budget. In fact, I haven't had any money for the past week, and I had to do this stupid thing uh, a month earlier than I expected because AJ Heller of Scene World um, Podcast decided he would announce my, my Patreon page uh, on this week's podcast. And, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of people listen to that podcast? I don't know, a lot of people... So I, I couldn't miss out on the opportunity. So I just had to go ahead with a crappy Skype mic and um, slightly shady version of software that I'm using. All right. Thanks a lot. It's goodbye from me and hello to code. Good afternoon. <laughs>